there's there's actually a sub deck underneath the deck that you see here. Once I had the sub deck created, I could I could set this thing on here, and then there's a if you were to lift this off, there's a bunch of supports that hold that hold this whole superstructure lifts off completely and separates right here. There's no glue; it comes completely off. Um, but then once the sub deck was completed, then I could go in and actually um, draw and lay out all of these planks in AutoCAD. They were all laid out, but one side again is, was slightly different than the other and I tweaked it a little bit. Um, and the reason that I wanted to use separate pieces, so there are two reasons. One is there are actually separate pieces on the actual boat or any planked boat. And if I were to use one continuous piece of wood, the grain structure would change, wouldn't be accurate. In other words, this might be angling this way, but the grain might be cutting across here. When you got here, you'd have a nice parallel grain situation, but as you turn in on the back, you'd have a problem. So I didn't bend the planks. I actually cut them in the shape of the way they were. However, I oriented them when they're all they were all, they were all cut with a laser. Most of the parts were cut with a laser. Um, I was able to get their profile, kick them so that they were as close to matching the grain direction as possible, cut them out. That was one reason. The other reason is just like a boat or any piece of woodwork, you do get grain variations from different pieces, and I wanted that to be apparent here. So where you had a butt end, you know, I wanted a slightly darker piece to come into a slightly lighter piece, so it actually did look like it was planked separately. So I guess really the only way to make it look like it was individual planks was to make it individual planks.